All right, so I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys through on how to do this drop one here, 1094 AutoCAD 2D. All right, so first, uh, the biggest dimension that we see here is a 113 for the head, the whole face of the bear. And then that center will be where my mouth is right here. So we're going to start uh, drawing something. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and then I will start um, drawing. So I'm going to start with that. And if I hit enter again, I'm going to snap in the right, um, the exact same task that I just did. All right, so I got those, but first I want to go up here where by layer, the second option, click other. I'm going to load. I'm going to look for the center X2. I'm going to use that. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to click OK so again. Um, now I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to go ahead and change them to that center line. So now both of them are center. Um, I want one of them to be um for the purpose of me teaching you guys, I'm going to go ahead and change this one to red. And then I'm going to change this one to, um, let's try flu. Uh, flu kind of dark, so let's try something that you can see. Let's do yellow or orange. Uh, yellow, okay? So I have that. This is for the purpose of drawing things. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and start with that big circle there. That one will be 113. Okay. So there is that whole big circle. So um, I know it's big. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on this XY coordinate. And we're going to drag it all the way down here by the left click and hold and the mouse. Once more time, let's do that again. All right, click and hold, and I'm going to move that down here. That's one. That's out my way. Second, I'm going to go ahead and take this picture here that I have. I'm going to move the pictures out here. So I'm going to click on move. I'm going to move the pictures out there. I'm also going to go ahead and make the picture bigger. Now, this is good that it's happened, so I can show this to you guys. That you can do all that to resize your things. All right, and I need to make it bigger because the drawing. All right, so there it is. I think it's decent for us to see it. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can select that. I'm going to extend. I'm going to extend this line. Sorry, let me zoom in real quick. I'm going to extend this line. As long as you see that dotted um, line show up, that is snap in there. Same thing. I'm going to zoom into this red line. I'm going to make it longer here. All right, so I got those. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to establish uh, where the, uh, the ears. Let's do that first. So we look at the ears, it's the intersection of that big circle and this right here, which is um, based on the 68.4 from the left ear to the right ear. So halfway of that will be 34.2. So I'm going to go up here to the offset option under modify. I'm going to do 34.2, enter, and I'm going to select the object that I want to. And I can move left or right, up to me. I'm going to do right this time, all right? Then I'll go ahead and draw that little ear. Um, that this would be the ear, which is at the R radius. Yeah, radius of 16.24. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this. Start that. And then I am already in radius. So 16.25. That's my radius. Uh, what does it look like? Yeah. I'm going to have to double check my big circle here to want to make sure the radius of that circle. Oh, OK, I see the problem. The diameter is 226. We need to change that back to 113. OK, so that would be the correct thing here. Um, and that means we have to draw our ears right here, which is 16.25. OK, so um, then what we're going to do next would be we try to um, draw the eyes. 
So the I is left and right is 33.6. So what is half of 33.6? Uh, let's use a calculator for those who have a hard time with this. Um, there's a calculator up here for you. All right, 33.6 divided by 2. Okay, that's 16.8. So what you're going to do is we're going to do offset again right there. We're going to offset this red one, 16.8. Um, and we're going to stay on the right side. Okay, and then that 16.8 will be giving us this line. But now we're going to need to do to see where is that eyes from the bottom up, right? That is 11.5 right there. That's 11.5 up. So the yellow line is what I'm going to do offset. I'm going to do 11.5, that yellow up. Now the intersection of the yellow and the red is where I'm going to draw my um, eye. And I forgot the dimension of the uh, eye, which is diameter is 10. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my diameter is selected down here where my hand is. I'm going to put in 10 All right, right there. Again, if you make a mistake, you could just double click on it um, and you can change the diameter that way, change it to what it is if you make a mistake. All right, so I got that left and right. Now, um, we're going to go ahead and trim this. Usually I don't uh, do it right away, but for the purpose of you guys seeing things, for the first time that's how we got the ears now all right so i have that and i'm going to take a look here do i need anything i don't need this red line anymore uh, not for any purpose i don't need this one either um or the yellow one now again you guys don't have to do all of that you can just leave all of that and wait until the end but it's up to you guys how you want it um if you want to get rid of it okay all right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try to establish the center of the mouth here. All right, so we're going to take a look to the right of this. That is 21, so we're going to offset from that line down, 21, the yellow line. We're going to go yellow line, offset down 21, so 21, enter, select this, move it down. That's where the center line is going to be. Um, and if you want to, you can extend this um, by click on the line, click on that little square there. You can extend this thing longer if you want. Then you can see that intersection. All right, here we go. Draw this circle. Um, 24 would be the diameter. So we're going to click on the diameter. We're going to do 24. And the next one is 43.6. Also diameter. Now, I was just selecting the circle earlier. I'm not selecting the circle again because I'm going to show you guys. Uh, we just click on the enter key one more time. It's going to give us the exact same task we asked for before. All right. Um, so 43.6. Um, and I think that's a mistake there. We're going to double check that by double click on it because I forgot to select diameter. So we're going to go ahead. 43.6. That's how you change those things. Okay. And hit escape to get out so now i have those mouth and i'm i think i'm okay at this point i'm not drawing anything on the left side all right the next thing we're going to concentrate on is this location right here all right and also it's right there on the right hand side so we need that location all right um this is 21 and if we look at this we can see that the top part let me draw something so you guys can see it um what I'm looking at is this right here, that location, right? It's in red right now. Now, the distance from here up look like it's longer than from the location there down, right? And that's 21. And if I am to extend this line, you can see that this is underneath this small circle, all right? So that means it's less than that distance. Now, we know the distance here. I'm going to go to measure right here. I'm going to click on quick. I can see that that circle here, the diameter of that, radius of that is 12, right? So that radius is 12. That means this line that you're going to about to create, make sure it's less than, less than 12, okay? Because on the mouth, that line is underneath that circle, right? So I'm going to go ahead and give you the measurement here. Let's call that um, 10. So to leave the top 11. So then... 
the measurement that we're going to offset from this one up is 10. So I'm going to offset this up 10. You could offset the top down 11 either way. All right, so that right there. All right, and then we're going to see how far apart is this, right? There are 70, 70 down here, and you can see that is halfway from this location to the location on the right. That's 70, so halfway of that is 35. I'm going to offset this 35 to the right. In my case, you can do to the left, all right? So then I have that, and then remember, this is the location that we're going to concentrate on right there. Okay, we're going to take that location at the center to draw this arc. The arc here, radius of that is 58. So we're going to go ahead, circle, snap onto that one, and we need to do 58 radius. Right now we are in radius. All we have to do is just do 58. Okay, um, now I got my circle here to be red. I'm going to go ahead and change it back to white by layer. Right, because I did not switch it the first time, so I'm going to go back here and change it back. All right. Uh, I'll teach you guys how to do layers and all that stuff later, but that is that. Okay. So what we're going to do now is basically, um, if you want to, at this point you can trim, and I'm going to go ahead and do that with you. All right. Uh, we don't need this. We don't need that. Not that. We don't need this line. Click on it. Delete it. Uh, we trim the part that we don't need for now. All right. Um, and then there's more thing for us to trim, but uh, you zoom in, there's things down here that we need to trim as well. And then if you zoom into here, we also need to trim this section. I want to see which one that give me a better curve, that one. Um, I look closer to the mouth than that. And I can trim this one. All right, so it's getting closer. Uh, what I need to do now is I'm going to go ahead and use the mirror option. All right, so the mirror option is up here. You will have um, all of this in modify. You got array, you got mirror, you got rotate, move things, all that. So I'm going to go ahead and do mirror. I'm going to select this object. I want to mirror that object. I'm going to also mirror that object. So those are the two objects I'm going to mirror. Um, and I'm going to hit enter. Now they, they want us to mirror about something. So I'm going to mirror about this line or this point in the center there. I'm going to mirror that to my right side. All right. So basically when I hit mirror, it's show up. I need to snap into that line that I have. All right. And then they asked me, do I want to erase this one? I said no. All right. Unless you want to, which I don't know why you would say that. All right. And there you go. You have that. The last thing we're going to do is we can go ahead and mirror this right here. Hit enter. Select the location we want to mirror about. Same thing. Hit enter. All right. Now you can go back and trim the part that you don't need anymore, which is this and that. And zoom in right here to see again which one do we want to mirror. Is it cut that one or this one? That one. All right, to be consistent. All right, so we have that. Now, again, this measurement that we have for this line that I'm covering right now, this yellow line, um, we don't have the exact measurement for that, so our picture is not exactly the same there. Uh, it could be more than uh, 10, um, but the problem does not give us that information. It's missing somewhere. All right, so now that is done. All I have to do is hit Escape, and I can just delete all this if I want to. And there is my mouth. Um, I can do that. Now, there's one thing is you can see how they are, like the bear is a little black and then all that stuff. But we can work on that. Uh, let's trim this out. Um, also, we notice that the, the bottom section here, they have that little curve, and that is a radius of 1. So that will be what we call a fillet. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the fillet there. So fillet is right here. We're going to click on that. We're going to select our first object. And then we're going to give us a radius of, uh, click on radius first, give the radius of one, hit enter. And then now we select on the second object. All right. Again, I'm going to go ahead, select my first object, click on radius. 
I'll put in one, hit enter, and then I'll select my second object. All right. And that is how it's round that up. Now I'm done. Hit escape. Double click the middle mouse. Everything zoom in. And that will be my, my, my bear. The last thing I'm going to ask you guys to do is dimension. So I'm going to go ahead and go to notation. I'm going to go to standard. All right. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to click on modify. This window is going to show up for you. I want you to go to text. And we want to change a few things. First, uh, what do we want to change? Let's do first the symbol. Let's go to the lines option first. We want my line to look different than um, the actual drawing line. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. I want the line to be, um, I don't know, um, you want a cyan. All right, I'm going to go to text. Now, first, take a look at our dimension before we select our number. The circle for the eyes is 10 diameter. That means half of this will be 5, right? And then look look at the number 10, the 0, 10 compared to the I there. What ratio do you think that would be? Um, I would say we're going to change the text height to maybe about 2, and that should be good. Now, again, you can always go back and change it if it's too small. All right. When it's done, click on dimension, and we're going to go right here. We're going to bring it out. Uh, it looks like that's perfect, all right? So it gives us the radius of this, uh, which is um, 56.5. And now if you do the math, you'll be able to figure it out what it is, right? Um, and then click on dimension. You can, you can do that again. Now, if I don't want this to be in radius, I want it to be in diameter. I click on diameter, and you can see that is 113. Uh, same thing with this one. Uh, so, hit escape. We're going to go in diameter real quick. That would be uh, 10, right? And that, that I is a mere option, so it's going to be the same thing if we want to do that. This is 24, right? And this is 43.6. Now, um, this arc right here, we got 116, but if you want to see the radius, you click on radius, and it gives you the radius. Uh, same thing, if you zoom into that one, bring that closer to that, bring it out, and you can see the radius is 1. If you want diameter, again, click down here. So those are information about the bear that you guys need to take it out. All right, there's one problem. There's a lot of zero at the end here. If you see that and you want to change it, you go up again on here, click on the second option, modify it. We're going to change the position of it. So let's see where the precision is. Primary unit, the precision. Just change that to um, no decimal after. You can see that it's right there. It looks like that. But I believe our number have one of them, like the 16.8. So we need to give us. Oh, there's one more. That's the thing that is 0.25, I believe. So give two zeros. All right. Click close. And then that's change. Okay, I believe the ear is the one that have a 0.25 to it. Yep, there you are. So that is all the dimension that you need for this pair of your problems. Now, if you want something else, you, know, you can go further with me if you need to. Um, here, we're gonna go to right click and we're gonna go to option. This is something that we're gonna do to change the environment real quick so you can see if you want to do the exact same one. Click colors, um, another window gonna show up and you're gonna do the background. If you change the background to white, right now, by the way, if you change it to white, um, let's do it. You can see that right there, right? It's changed all of that, all right? Okay, so one that's changed, if you want to have that picture similar to, um, let me click up, up line first. Then you can go now, you can go to something called, um, let's go to home first. Right here, there's a hatch. We're going to click on hatch. And if you want to do a solid color, and now you can select that. And that will be your bear that look like that. Hit escape. That is your bear for um, this drawing. All right, that's it for this video.